Taking to Twitter, Morton Klein wrote in part, she exposes her callous, insensitive ignorance and bigotry as she painfully displayed in her comments on the Holocaust. Klein is the president of the Zionist Organization of America, and he is considered one of the top Jewish leaders in the country. Mr. Klein, good morning, sir. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. It is good to have you. So I really want to use this forum as an opportunity for enlightenment for many of our viewers, particularly in light of all that was said. So first, would you please explain what about Whoopi Goldberg's statement was so offensive to you? Because I think most reasonable people think that they would agree with the fundamental point that was the Holocaust was basically rooted in man's inhumanity to man. <laughs> No, the Holocaust was rooted in the specific interest to murder every Jew on the face of the earth. Okay. They murdered 6 million out of the 8 million Jews in Europe. Uh, in Mein Kampf, Hitler's own uh, uh, book, he said the Jews are a people with definite racial characteristics, certain eyes, nose, foreheads. <laughs> they, he referred to Jews, as did most uh, Germans, as untermenschen, an inferior race, subhuman, a separate race. You notice they didn't attack all whites. They didn't attack white Christians. They only attracted, attacked Jews. And the extraordinary insensitivity and ignorance of Whoopi Goldberg is when she said, this is just white people doing it to white people. You all should go fight amongst yourselves. Like what, it's just whites fighting amongst themselves. Would Whoopi Goldberg ever say, when black gangs are murdering innocent black children, innocent black people, it's just black people fighting amongst themselves? Of course not. That would be ignorant and insensitive. And now she's done this when it comes to Jewish people. <laughs> and by the way, this distracts from a major point that I'm sorry to say, it's painful for me to say, that there have been numerous attacks by blacks and some Hispanics on Jews in LA, Muncie, New York, New Jersey, and they only attack these black criminals, thugs, only attack Jews that are clearly look like Jews according to their dress and their long side curls. Hmm. So they're not even attacking white Christians, only Jews. Uh, uh, of course, that's a minor uh, uh, situation compared to the Holocaust, but, but this is something the view should be discussing as opposed to dis diminishing the Holocaust as just white people fighting white people when it is vicious, evil Germans murdering Jews and looking only to murder Jews uh, in addition to a few other peoples. So, and, and by the way, her apology, she apologized, but she then went on the Colbert show and repeated the same falsehoods, the same insensitivities. So her apology is worthless. And uh, I really think someone like that, who's so insensitive, should not be a person discussing her opinions on any issue, and she should no longer be allowed to be on The View. And Morton, could you explain why the disconnect, uh, why there is a disconnect and why some see Jews simply as a religion and not a race? Because it seems as if that is very much what people kind of focused on after her comments saying that isn't it just a religion when that is in fact not the case. Can you kind of explain that a little bit? <laughs> well, it's a complicated issue. Uh, first of all, Jew Jewish people come in all colors. Over half the Jews in Israel are non-whites. Uh, they brought over hundreds of thousands of Ethiopian Jews who are dark black-skinned people to, uh, to Israel. <laughs> but Israel is more than just a religion. It is a people. It is a people that has a land and a country. And for those who believe in the Bible, in the Bible, God gave this land to the Jewish people. So it's not just a religion of people scattered over the world, uh, Jewish people. It is also a people uh, with a long history, with a land, as well as religion. So there are many components to being a Jew, not simply practicing Judaism. Mr. Klein, I want to ask you a somewhat philosophical question, and it really has to do with the focus on minor details like race or even trying to quantify the atrocities of the Holocaust by comparing it to other global and historic attempts at genocide. Uh, has that, to some degree in your mind, shifted our focus away from the causes and the lingering effects of all human atrocities that have been committed? Throughout history, there's been horrific atrocities against of human beings attacking other human beings. But the Holocaust was unique in that never has there been an attempt to destroy and murder an entire people. Even the horrors of blacks, of uh, enslaving blacks in America and in, throughout the Arab world and throughout the world, 
There was no attempt to murder them. There was the attempt to enslave them. And the, even the word genocide was created after the Holocaust to specifically denote what the Germans did to the Jews, a destruction of an entire people. That has never happened before in the history of humankind. And Martin, you know, a little earlier you mentioned how you don't think that Whoopi Goldberg should be able to be on The View any longer after the suspension. But I wonder if some people would actually like to see things change in the sense of instead of calling for, um, you know, for people to be fired or this cancel culture that we're seeing, instead actually maybe br keep her on the show, bring her to the carpet and really bring on some Jewish experts um, and kind of, I guess, if you will, uh, you know, um, enlighten her on exactly what she said, how she is wrong, and how things can change to make us uh, better together instead of just kind of pushing someone out of the limelight and hoping that they're just forgotten. And having the conversation we're having right now, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, I think she should, she's a superb actress, really great. <laughs> she should not be, uh, uh, they should not uh, uh, destroy her ability to, to work as an actress. The view is unique in where you're discussing your opinions about various issues. And I think because it is so clear that she's just not a clear thinking individual on this really gigantic issue, I don't think she's the right person to be discussing issues on that show. And look who she chose to come on the show to defend her essentially, or to uh, make the issue more clear. Uh, Jonathan Greenblatt, the head of the Anti-Defamation League, that just came out with a definition of racism, which says only white people can be racist. Can you imagine? Louis Farrakhan is not a racist, uh, according to this definition. So they chose the wrong person of uh, Jonathan Greenblatt, who accepted her apology, even though she went on TV and repeated these falsehoods. And he, uh, while Jonathan Greenblatt has even praised Ilan Omar, one of the biggest anti-Semitic bigots in Congress, praising her for her work for a better world. So she brings on the wrong person, a very biased person on these issues. And she's on a show where her views are uh, di disseminated to millions of people every day. Uh, no one should have any confidence in her ability to think clearly about any issue if she's so unclear about this. And you know, she, on, on the Colbert show, she even said, I don't want to hear about this anymore. Don't write to me about this. No, but she wants to dismiss this. Can you imagine if I or anyone would say, when discussing uh, important issues affecting blacks, I don't want to hear about slavery. I don't want to discuss slavery. Of course we should, because that's had an impact on black people for a long time. And it should be continue to be discussed uh, as to what impact it continues to have. So I think she's forfeited her right uh, to be a, a, an opinion maker uh, on any TV show. Well, Mr. Klein, we appreciate you joining us this morning. We wanted to have this conversation in hopes of potentially broadening the marketplace of ideas, particularly as it relates to this particular issue. So thanks so much for joining us today. Yes, thank thanks you. for raising this very important issue of important, uh, importance to not only Jews, but to those who want to fight bigotry. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. We appreciate your time.